Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim 2021. And we are back on the Woodhead Electric line in BR Blue, and we have the Class 76 in BR Blue. And this is an interesting one. <laughs> Just starting off with the model, it is. it looks really cool, looks unique. Um, and going into the mechanical side and driving it, it is a it is a difficult one. It's not your average loco, as you'll see when we jump into the cab. But um, nope, this is going to be an interesting one. This is the first scenario that you play with the 76 on the Woodhead line in BR Blue. Um, and so this is the first time I've played it. Um, so we will be checking it out. So before we jump into the cab, I just want to say if you are a new viewer who hasn't subscribed please do so down below so you don't miss any of my videos all right let's jump into the cab okay so it says today we have a slightly different job for you take the easter tommy rail tour from guidebridge to rotherwood sidings with the class 7676025 you'll be calling at Prestone Platform 3 for a quick photo opportunity for you for the passengers and then you'll be heading to Rotherwood Sidings um, and we'll take the so the next scenario is I think taking the journey onward to Lincoln okay so the 76 <laughs> very interesting loco this um, you've got quite a few options and you have an advanced mode by pressing B. I'm going to keep it off advanced mode for now because it's a little bit more difficult to drive but um, let's get some lights and we'll get these markers on. Instruments we'll need. Okay so the first thing to do is check that this master key is set. So uh, so yeah, that is fine. Um, and then we need to put this on, I believe, so that this light comes on down here. Transfer. Right, okay, so put this into forward. We can get the brake off. And the brake is off because it may side 12% down here, but it actually is spring loaded. So it is on running at the moment. And that should empty that. And then we have to basically move this lever here into series or pair, go series first. And you can do that by pressing C, or you can move it. As you can hear, the electric motors. Need to check the pantographs are up. Yep, they are good. Okay, so we should be able to just head off now. Okay. Now we've got all of these throttle positions and we go into full field and then weak field, but uh, we'll deal with that a bit later. Let's just get moving first and we are going so we're going to we're going via this platform then Woodhead and we're stopping at the third platform. Okay. You can hear the electric lines above. You can actually see them if uh, box again don't think it's going to you can see how many like throttle positions we've got on this it's quite an, an interesting loco to be driving I'm not sure if we flip the weight transfer back now that we're moving. 
I'm not too sure. I did have a quick skim of the manual. I think that's fine to do. We want to. I mean, I'm not in advanced mode, but if I was, you want to be checking this motor. You don't want to be overloading the motor, basically, because uh, that could cause a motor failure, which is around here, one of these. field so we're in full field at the moment after this is weak field and you can see that that sparking up there on the pantograph now we're not going very fast at the moment this thing is uh, well you can see here we've got the field and the amps so we're giving it full, that's maximum power now. And uh, we're still in series. We can go into pair at some point. Which we will be doing. But yeah, this is an interesting loco to drive. It is not the easiest thing. And uh, if you don't know, if you haven't read the manual or watched a video or anything, there's a nice video online done by, I think it's Alan Thompson. Uh, he basically does a driving lesson on the Class 76, if you want to watch that. Uh, I did watch that a little bit and skim the manual. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not for the faint-hearted, this one. Now, one of the scenarios with this 76 has a double-headed 76, so you've got two locos at the front, and there's a setting that you can put it on to change how it banks and how it powers up, um, so that you can use both, obviously, both locos to power each other, um, and I believe that's done here. Uh, so I think it's a banking power setup. So yeah, that's how, if you're double-heading, you turn that and you can basically control both locos at the sort of, it, it matches the power setting, I believe, so that both locos are at the same amount of power. But uh, we'll get into that on that scenario where we are double-heading. Uh, that'll be the next one, I believe. So this is sort of the introduction. And I mean, there is really no... Unless you read the manual, which are, you are supposed to. Uh, but if you don't read the manual, there's not really any... You can't just jump in and drive this straight away if you don't know what you're doing. But yeah, I, I definitely recommend watching that video by Anna Thompson if you, uh, if you haven't. The interior is looking quite nice on this. It's definitely different. Definitely different. I have definitely fully enjoyed the um, the Woodhead electric line in BR Blue DLC for Train Sim. I would definitely recommend it.
I just love the look of this thing. It looks so cool. Okay, so we're going via this platform. And we should be on time, actually. We're still gaining speed, which is good. It means that I did the setup for this correctly. Like I say, I'm not a, not an expert on how to drive this thing, and uh, I I haven't looked into it very much. I mean, there's the whole advanced mode that you can go put on. Um, but yeah, literally, I just skimmed skimmed the instructions for it and. Uh, got a basic understanding on how to get it moving and uh, yeah jump straight in so if I can do it <laughs> I'm sure other people could master it to be honest Losing a little bit of speed here, but this is quite a steep gradient, I think. Hopefully, when we get into a bit of a flatter area, we'll be okay. If you haven't seen the other videos and the other scenarios of this, if this DLC, the Woodhead Electric Line in BR Blue. I have all the videos up on my channel and they are in a train sim 2021 playlist so if you want to go check all of them out go uh, go watch them they are on the channel right now and we are just finishing it off with the class 76 so I will be doing three videos of the class 76 then that will be all the scenarios in the DLC so if you want to if you're thinking about picking it up and you want to see what's in it Go have a look. So we're going via Woodhead up main. And we got another steep gradient to climb. Now I probably could maintain speed by checking this power banker power setup um, but I don't want to rate weight transfer switch I'm not sure if that would help us here no I don't want to mess about too much with this stuff because I'm not too sure. I don't want to just absolutely tank our speed. Now that we've got moving, I kind of want to try and maintain it if possible. These are quite steep gradients. This is where sort of the double heading would would be really really good, because then you have two locos obviously pulling. No, I think that this DLC. I mean, look at the weathering on this thing. They've done an absolutely fantastic job with making it look old. I mean, even the roof up here is rusty. But no, they've done, they've done an amazing job with this. Really like it.
Now this would be obviously where you'd, if you had it in advanced mode, you'd need to watch your motors. Just in case you, uh, we got a line. Light, I'm not quite sure what that means. Whether or not we have to switch it over or something. Too sure. Yeah, not entirely sure. That'll be due to the um, my line is up. I, I'm not too sure what that is. I'm not, like I say, I'm not an expert, so maybe if you know down below, you could tell me. Well, I think we're we're gaining some speed now, so we're doing okay. So we're just coming up on Woodhead. Now we were supposed to be going via here at 49 and it's now 55, but uh, that's fine. We're then stopping at Pennystone, which is down the hill. And that's where the, the photo opportunity is being held deep car platform and then Rotherwood. We got a tunnel coming up as well. It's quite a slog to get up that hill to be fair. We were at pretty much 35 the whole way up there. It's definitely a bit of a steep incline for this. Okay, I think we're finally getting out of the tunnel. Not really too sure what a single yellow on this line means, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, we finally got out of that tunnel. That was such a long tunnel, that was. It's not for us, that red. That's okay. Yeah, that tunnel was insanely long. <laughs> it was almost like six minutes of a tunnel. don't think that's for us, that red, so we'll just save it just in case. Apply a little bit of brake, I think. I 
We're still gaining speed even though we have the brake on. Five mile until we have to stop. for the time being. And we are actually stopping at this platform as well. We can use engine brake if we want. Not quite sure how big this platform is, so. in case and I mean we're coming in at an alright speed at the moment doesn't look like a very big platform to be honest a bit more. I think that's perfect. I'm not sure how long we've got to stay here for, but <laughs> yeah, not a very big platform this. Okay, so we've got to go via deep car, and then that's it. Okay, so brake off. Yeah, 
that was why I was, uh, I think we overloaded it there. That's why we didn't really go anywhere. Gotta take it slow. Don't want to overload it with the amps. Don't want to just give it too many. Too quick. So Rollerwood's actually quite far away. It's, it's almost 15 mile away. So it's quite a, quite a distance. Okay, so this is the only guy that's come down. So we'll see what happens. After he's gone. So we've actually had the approval to pass this at danger. I'm not sure if that's broken or what. But um, yeah, last time I passed that, it ended the scenario. So let's continue. <laughs> We're only about two mile away.
Is that another red light for us? I don't know. No, it's not. Okay, so we're almost there. Try and keep the amps up. As we enter the sidings. And that's us. So, if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like. If you're a new viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so down below. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.